Hey, Circle Highlight Underline family, thank you for taking a few moments to listen in to a conversation about week three, Mary's song. I think it's probably more appropriate for you not to hear a man talk about Mary's song. It's probably good to hear the emotion of birth and all that comes with it um, from the perspective of someone that is female. And so I had this devotion that dropped into my mailbox earlier this morning, and I want to read it to you. And it's from an author whose first name is Sarah, and I'll read this story. If you're curious about the devotional, I'll drop that link to you if you email me and send it to you uh, in its entirety. But Sarah writes this. Early in our marriage, more than 16 years ago now, Gabe and I experienced the pain of infertility and miscarriage. We lost three precious babies, all early in pregnancy, over just one year. For six years, we walked through the gauntlet of doctors. For six years, we walked through the gauntlet of doctors' appointments, medicines, tests, procedures that created the faintest glimmer of hope that maybe one day we would know the joy of having a baby, only for our hopes again to be dashed by the darkness of death and despair. Though it's too long of a story to cover today. One day, after struggling with letting go of the biological pursuit of growing our family and shifting towards adoption, I heard the Lord say in my life, But I adopted you. Much like the pieces of our passage that remind us, those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become the children of God, says Sarah. The scripture continues, Children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision, Sarah continues, the scripture continues, children born not of natural descent nor of human decision or husband's will, but born of God. With his reminder, says Sarah, that he had adopted me, I gladly and quickly look forward to the growing of our family through adoption, even though that process will be full of frustration, uncertainty, and fear. Something significant shifted in my spirit. Light broke forth in me. As you're reading and listening to this narrative and this story that is very personal to Sarah, you're hearing the emotion and all the energy of a mom that goes into giving birth and preparations for birth. There's a lot of emotion and frustration, uncertainty, and fear. And then Sarah says, something significantly changed in my spirit. In our passage, not talking about adoption, but talking about a miraculous conception, we see Mary also dealing with frustration, uncertainty, and fear. But we see something significant shift in her spirit in this passage. You think of the thoughts that go through her mind initially. Frustration. This is not how things go. The plan is not supposed to go this way. I'm to be married. I'm supposed to have children like normal people. There's the frustration of Mary. There's the uncertainty. When she says, how can this be? And she's not necessarily doubting God. She's just puzzled on how God's going to accomplish it. And then you can know because of humanness, there would be a sense of fear. But even in the frustration, the uncertainty and fear, Something significant shifts in her spirit. As Sarah said to us, light broke forth. The song that you're reading is the song of Mary. It is filled with the emotion and the satisfaction that God is fulfilling his promise. In the middle of frustration and uncertainty and fear, Mary is, what, complaining to God? No. She is singing a song to God. Can I encourage you today, just like Mary, in obedience, sing a song to the Lord? I know it sounds goofy, me just actually verbalizing that out loud when things are frustrating and uncertain and you're fearful. But this is exactly what Mary did in the presence and the news that God was doing an incredible thing. Even in the middle of her frustration, uncertainty, and fear, She sang a song. Now this week, it's our work to listen to what the lyrics of the song say. Study it. 
circle it, highlight, underline those things that stand out to you, and we'll talk more about it on Sunday. Know that God, in the middle of your uncertainty, your frustration, and fear, can give you a reason to hope, and that hope gives you a reason to sing. My friends, God bless you. We love you. Take care. Thank you.